Welcome to Electro Online. In the last video, we did what we call the row echelon form. Here, we're going to do the reduced row echelon form, which means that we're going to take it a step further and change it into this form, where we have ones across diagonals and zero everywhere else. And then the numbers on the right side of that dashed line will become the values for x and y that we're looking for, the x and y coordinates where the two lines cross. So here, again, we start with the same two equations. We first write them in that form where we have the x's and the y's on the left side, the constants on the right side of the equal sign, and then we plug those coefficients and those constants into the augmented matrix, meaning that this is equivalent to this and this is equivalent to that. 1x minus 1y equals negative 2, 2x plus y equals 8. Notice that this is called row 1 and this is called row 2. And now we're going to make this look like that by going through a series of steps. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the 2 here and turn it into a 0. We can do that by taking row 2 and replacing it by the negative of this number times row 1, so negative 2 times row 1 and adding it to row 2. If we do that, we get the following. Notice that row 1 doesn't change, so we have a 1, negative 1, and negative 2. But here, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, added to 2 gives me 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2, added to 1 gives me 3. And negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, added to 8 gives me 12. So, just like before in the previous video, that's our first step. The next step is to turn this into a 1 because that's what we want in the final form. And we can do that by taking row 2 and replacing it by 1 third times row 2. In other words, we're going to divide that row by 3. When we do that, we get the following. Notice we're only changing row 2, so row 1 stays the same, 1, negative 1, and negative 2. But here, 0 divided by 3 is 0. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, there's only one thing left to do, is to take this and turn that into a 0, because we want to make it look like this. So I'm going to take this and rewrite it over here. So my augmented matrix looks as follows. I have a 1, negative 1, dashed line, negative 2, a 0, a 1, and a 4. And remember, I was trying to get rid of the negative 1. So I'm going to do as follows. I'm going to take row 1 and replace it by the negative of this number multiplied times this and adding it to this. So the negative of the number I'm looking for. So same over here. I'm looking for the negative of this. I'm going to look for the negative of this. So the negative of negative 1 is a positive 1 multiplied times R1. Um, no, multiply, sorry. Multiply times the other row, row 2, and adding it to row 1. So I'm going to get rid of row 1, and replacing it by the negative of negative 1, which is a positive 1, times row 2, the row with the 1 in it, and adding it back to row 1 to get rid of that negative 1. And so this becomes as follows. Notice that row 2 doesn't change, so we get 0, 1, and 4. And here, notice that 1 times 0 added to 1 still gives me 1. 1 times 1 is 1 added to negative 1 gives me 0. And 1 times 4 added to negative 2 gives me positive 2. And notice I now have it in this exact form. Notice that these are the x and y value of my solution. So that means that this is my x, this is my y. So that means that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. So my solution my x and y coordinates are simply equal to 2 and 4. Notice that when you use the reduced echelon form, you work it all the way to the end, and then you simply read off the results. And it was only one extra step compared to the row echelon form. So for me, this is definitely a preferred method if you're going to use this kind of method to solve for the linear system of equations. And I would just go all the way to the reduced row echelon form because then the, the answers are simply picked right off the augmented matrix. And that is how it's done. You want to say what you're doing?
you said to me earlier about the confusing name? Oh, <laughs> the confusing name. Yeah, the way, the way I get confused is that I always feel that this is the rho echelon form and the previous method is the reduced rho echelon form because there's less of it. You don't go all the way, but it doesn't work that way. They call this the reduced rho echelon form because they reduce it even further. And that's where that name came from. The reduced echelon form simply means it's the echelon, rho echelon form, but you're reducing it all the way to this format right here. That's where that name came from. I think it's confusing.